Imagine you take a simple leaf, like the leaf of this striped maple. And if you could make the lobes in the leaf just a little bit deeper, then it might resemble the leaf of a sugar maple, which has slightly deeper lobes. If you took the leaf of a sugar maple and make the lobes deeper still, then it might resemble the leaf of a silver maple, which has very deep lobes. If you took a silver maple and made the lobes even deeper, then you might separate this leaf into separate leaflets. And there is a maple known as the box elder or ash leaf maple, which has leaves which are compound. So the leaf is separated into many leaflets. One can tell because at the base of the leaflets, where they join the central shaft known as the rachis, there is no swollen bud region. This is where the entire leaf, composed of many leaflets, joins the more twig-like stem. So in the case of the black walnut, is the area which is sparkling a leaf. Does it have at its base a bud? And is it swollen? So the answer is no, this is not a leaf. This is the leaf of the black walnut. It is composed of many leaflets. It is only at the base of this entire leaf does one find the uh, swollen uh, region where it meets the more twig-like stem and the axillary bud, which can produce new shoots. The same is true of this locust. The small circular structure which is sparkling is not a leaf. It doesn't have a swollen base. It doesn't meet a stem at an axillary bud. Instead, the leaf is compound, composed of many leaflets. Only at this base then does one find the swollen region and the axillary bud. This then is important for those who are trying to identify tree leaves. For example, in this ash, the leaf is not the single green oblong structure, but rather the compound structure composed of many leaflets. The same is true of this sumac. The sumac leaf is not a single elongated structure, but rather a compound structure composed of many leaflets. One can tell by the position of the axillary bud and the swollen base where the leaf meets the stem. There are other trees with compound leaves other than those already named, like the elderberry, tree of heaven, horse chestnut, and American mountain ash. Some not only have pinnate compound leaves, but bipinnate compound leaves. In other words, the leaflets can themselves be divided into leaflets. One can see that in the honey locust and in the enormous leaves of the devil's walking stick.